Hey everybody, Cardboard Jesus with you. Welcome. We're gonna do a uh, pretty uh, 2020 uh, Panini Prism uh, draft picks uh, conference random. So if you would uh, come over here, what's up? Uh, I'm not a hundred percent sure. All right, eight will be our uh, random number. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the money shot eight times. ACC on top, Pac-12 on bottom. I'll put that on the list. Then people uh, eight times. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. And the money shot eight times. All right. And this will be... There you go. If you are looking for uh, a burrow, hang on. Where are you? My... And that's what you're, that's what you're gonna want. All right. See what we got. Six feet, man. Six feet. Mm -hmm. five, five or six, probably. I mean, there's plenty to plenty to do. You ripped on those? Yep. Cool. I'm in. All right. I will be in tomorrow for sure as well. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, the rest of the donors is tomorrow at noon, so. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. All right, what am I doing here? All right, let me get this. Okay. Uh, Matt Ryan to 249. And Oregon Ducks, Jake Breland is going to be our first autograph. Oregon is a uh, Pac-12 school. So, oops, let me, can I make this bigger? Do this a little bit bigger? There we go. That is Oregon, right? Sorry, it always always me always weirds me out when he when he comes in comes in and leaves mess, messes me mojo up. Uh, Tony Pollard to uh, seventy five. And seventy eight out of ninety nine Notre Dame Chase Claypool. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, you know, be, again, I'm an SEC homer, so I'm having to try and learn my, uh, learn my divisions again, or broaden them. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's good to try and learn something. So. Uh, Mecole Hardman in a straight orange, and Anthony Gordon in a straight orange, and an autograph... Donovan Peoples Jones. Good old Michigan. Michigan Big Ten. If if I is correct. So this so far has uh, been spread out kind of. Yeah, I'll take it. 
Did I? Did one hide in there somewhere? Yep. Hate those boxes. I'm like, we're short a pack. And I'm like, oh, I found it. McCaffrey to uh, 199. A Jonathan Taylor to uh, 299. And a uh, South Carolina, Javon Kinlaw. Who I think is actually pretty good. One out of 30. eBay, eBay 101. That'll go to the uh, SEC. A uh, Kyler Murray uh, to two ninety nine. Jacob Eason gold seven out of ten. This says that he's going to be a 2020 draft pick. So we'll find out. And Albert Okawinaboom. It's going to be a, it's going to be a tough one. That's going to be a tough one. That's uh, Missouri. Missouri Tigers, SEC, already off the board. All right, we will stick with the eight that we had. So I've only got two people. In the, oops, here we go. Use, my, use, use control click. Thomas, how are you doing? Show this. I mean, I, I will. I mean, we'll see if we can get uh, get another one filled. I mean, if not, then I'll go back to my sorting stuff. But let's see what we can do. All right. So eight times we use the same uh, number that we rolled for the random to begin this uh, break. Five, six, seven, and the money shot eight times. Nathan, I think Nathan had got the hitless spot in the last one if I'm not mistaken so thank you everybody no no we've been somebody else never mind never mind I'm talking crazy but it's right out to you yeah. uh, CPA all right let me clean this up in the future you are a pretty large voice of this entire process, obviously, as being an executive committee, 10 years in, going into your 11th year, is that accurate? I mean, yeah. 12, going into 12. Yeah. Time's flying, buddy. It is. It, it's impressive, by the way. It, no matter what position, to play 12 years in the NFL is a huge deal. How do you feel? Oops. How do you feel about this deal? Two years in the future. Is that Yeah, um, look, I think. I still need to turn the monitor off there. Our job is to negotiate as best the con if there's a chance to negotiate it, to negotiate it. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna clean it up first and, and then the membership to vote swing on. back around this other way. Very competitive. We'll just make it a mess. Um, I think our EC vote was five to six in favor of it, but it um, and the board voted I think seventeen to fourteen with one abstention. And so it was really divided right down the middle. And I think the final numbers of the whole player leader or the whole player membership was like fifty one and a half. 48 half, so it was tight as could be. Um, look, time will tell on some of those things. Um, it's negotiations are never easy, especially during uh, early before any sort of legitimate deadline. And so, um, it's been a learning experience for me for sure. And um, it was a stressful year of my life for sure. Uh, 
Okay. Now, let me fix this. What did I? What did I do here? Okay. Do we have any takers on fourteen? So far, that's a no. But was there, will everything like records wise be pre 17? Like, is there a 16 game season era that people will have records for? And then all new records will go, like, there's no way you'll yeah. touch that. I mean, the, the only guy in that room that has all the records is Vinny. So I, I don't know. He didn't step up and ask that good question. We're giving so. people more games to score points? <laughs> Vinny Terry, that would be awesome. No, no, no. Right. Boom, boom, boom. You know, he's Italian. Yeah, so um, no, we didn't specifically. Let me ask that, uh, Jesse about this know, it's, it's, it's personal it's too, real quick. The, the, the game is hard on a lot of people's bodies, um, and um, you know that was a that was a non-starter for them. It was hey, if you want to get a deal done early, what, seventeen has to be part of the conversation, and we just said okay. You know how 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 can you sweeten the pot in the rest of the areas that we're focused on to make that potentially worth it and. At the end of the day, we'll send it to the membership, and if we can, if it's good enough, it'll pass, and if it's not, it won't, and that's the way it went. So the NFL said, if you guys want a deal done early, this is what has to happen. So you guys approached the NFL to get the deal done early? No, 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 no. They, I think there was probably mutual interest okay. in, in at least starting to have a conversation, um, but it, it, it seemed very clear to me that Hang on. they weren't interested in, in, in doing, uh, if we wanted more of the pie, which we did, um, they weren't interested in doing 16 games. And so um, I think that's kind of the, tr the track we took from there. And, um, you know, and all negotiations can go any which way. And um, we made a lot of improvements to a lot of areas, not every area. There are some, um, you know, there's always more to be desired. But, um, you know, I, I personally voted yes for it. Okay. And, uh, like I said, it's very, very split. 2020, yeah, uh, yeah, I got the pre-order for 2020 score already. Of the revenue share. Here's the soft move the soft let's move forward. NFC South has a brand new face in it, Thomas. You've been in the NFC South for 12 years now. Drew Brees has been in the NFC South for, what, 45 years at this point. Matt Ryan's been in the NFC South for 55 years. Tom Brady is now in the NFC South. Let alone Teddy Bridgewater, one of your guys going over to the Carolina Panthers to become their starting quarterback. The NFC South might be the most competitive right. division it, in football it, right it, now. I will, uh, past, I just think it's becoming spotlighted all of a sudden. Drop this down for you to uh, make it easier for anybody that wants to get in this. And we've got three of these left 14, 15, and 16. You want to play in games that are meaningful? 14, 15, and 16. I've got the big spotlight on you. You know, you want those primetime games. And, um, you know, in, in years past, I don't think we've ever played Tampa Bay in prime time slot, and I can't see any way that they don't prime time at least one of those, if not both. Hmm. Um, so it's exciting. You know, it's exciting. Um, you want to play against the best players. You want to compete against the best. And, um, you know, uh, we've had a good run here lately, and so hopefully we can keep that going. Teddy Bridgewater getting $21 million a year to be the starter over in Carolina. Uh, I would assume you guys expected that, that has been around Teddy Bridgewater for the last couple of years. I mean, I don't know that anybody expects anything. Uh, this NFL world we live in is just crazy. Uh, every year stuff happens, and you just like you, you say you're not going to be surprised anymore, and you're like, whoa! Yeah. I mean, unbelievable every year. And so yeah, uh, I, I I can I can do without classics. That's an, another one of those just like too too many cards. Uh, he just stepped up and handled his business the way it needed to be handled, and um, he's reaping rewards of that now. So hey. I told him I'd only do that if we got back to the Super Bowl, so I'm, I'm, I'm holding off on my on my uh, post-game dance in the locker room. Could you do that? You could. I'm sure. Could you do this? Uh, I mean, I can do it, but it's, uh, it's, Pat, you know me. I think you'd have expected me to be at the lower, uh, at the lower end of the uh, dance moves spectrum. So. <laughs> I was hoping one day, though, like, every time they cut to the video of the locker room, Teddy would be hitting the bike going around, you know, Sean Payton being there, but... Every once in a while, I just would hope, like, oh, come on, Tom. Like, I, was wait, I was waiting for the Super Bowl, Pat. I was just stand, I was the awkward tall guy standing in the back, not knowing what to do. Um, so I'm waiting for the end. I'm waiting for the end when we get to that final game. Hey, long hair talk. All right. Just kind of Hang on. Time, <laughs> waiting. 
No buy. All right, no takers on uh, this next uh, divisional deal. How many folks are in? Yeah, I mean, ele eleven people watching. The only thing I've got is the divisionals. If we can't uh, get some of it, if we can't get a move, then I'm just going to call it a day. Send out an email. Probably not be on tonight, but we'll come on tomorrow to do some stuff. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, all right. Well, if we're not uh, if we're not doing the divisional, then I am going to get off for for right now. Get back to my uh, sorting and packing and stuff. And. Uh, Dad, you look younger than, than when you retired, buddy. I can tell you're enjoying your life right now. I uh, will be back later. All right. <laughs> maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow. We'll see. One, 